Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you an online voting system. This is uh, the folder of an online voting system. So you have to download and then put the this folder into your your uh, HAMPP. So if you have your own uh, website, your server, you can put it into your uh, domain folder. So after you put it in the local house, because I'm using local house now, and then you have to go to to the database and create the new folder called wood system here, as I can preview here. And then after you create the folder called wood system, you have to import data. This is the database of the the wood system so when you click on it you can go to import and then click file which is here this one will be accessed in the when you go to the folder of the wood system you will see the word db so in the db here you can import into your database so and then click go so for me i already have so i don't need to import it again so let's move to the main. This is the main. Uh, after you, you install, you put your full, the voting system folder into your local house. So you will see the screen like this. So for now, we change the link from index to admin. So we go to the admin page, and then this is the the user, the default user. You can use this name and then the password is password and then log in so when you log in you will see the graph of the candidate for each position you can see that we have a general seat we have a president and so on so you will see the screen you will see the number of voters number of voter who would and number of candidate and number of position here so let's move one by one of the features here after you log in as an admin you can also view the boot so you can see who would for this position and then let's go to the voters in the voter path you can create a new one the new voters for example i put voters and voters number two and password i just put any password that i want and then here here this is the voting position so you can customize or you can limit the voters to vote for for example we have four position here but you want to to uh, customize i mean limit the the voters to vote only for two position genocide and uh, and president for example so you you allow the voters to vote only two position so if you want to allow them to vote also you have to click all for the for the position but if you want them to vote only two for example two so you just customize based on you want and after the long in after the voters they long in so they can see only two two position that they have to vote so other position actually they have, we have four here but since you put only two position for these voters when these voters log in, they can see only two position based on your customize. Okay, so and when you you create, it will generate for you the the voters ID where this ID need to be uh, used as a voters ID and then the password that you generate for them here. Yeah. Okay, I copy this ID for example. And after that you have to log out first. Log out and then change the link from admin here. From admin to to the default. That's mean to the domain link for voters. So now we have voters IDs. I just copy the IDs that I have created and then the password. So after I long in you can see that I can see only two position which is general seat and then president 
So the other two position that I didn't assign this voters, so this voters cannot see that. So they cannot vote. So this is how the the voting system work. Let's move back to our admin. Okay. So now let's move to the next. Uh, we know the how the voters function work. So let's move to the pos uh, position. So in the position, you can create a new position. For example, I put vice president. Okay, and then this is the maximum vote. So mean that if you put three, so voters can vote in this position. They can vote up to three percent. For example, you have ten percent that stand for the vice president. So that if you put three here, so mean that the voters can select the candidate up to three. If you put one, so they have that means they have to choose only one person. But if you put is that up to you? If I put three, for example, so that when I go to the bullet uh position, so that you can see that the description here show that so you may select up to three candidates. This is so they have to choose up to three candidates. So since I don't have any candidate here uh, for here, so let's go back to after we create the position, let's go to candidate. So in the candidate part, you just create a new candidate. Maybe I put candidate number two. And then I select position vice president. And here the platform, I just put example. All right. So now I have one that stand one candidate that stand for vice president. Let's see here. So now I have here. You can see that it still remind remind you that the voters need to select up to three candidate. Since I choose, uh, I put number three in the uh, position. For example, if I put one in the position here, I did and I put only one. So mean that now when I go here I see the here that select one only so that means select only one candidate so they have to choose only one candidate for this and the last one this is the election title where you can change your election title to your your own titles any title that you want for your election so here, so after they vote, so what they can see is here. So the graph will show you here. For example, I go to the voters and then I assign the voters, voters number two here. I have select a general seat, president. I put maybe one more vice president. And then update. Let's go back to the voters. Oh, sorry, I need to change the link into the the default link and then go back to the voters again. Alright, so now you can see the voters can show the three, three position. So for example, if I choose these two, I choose this one, I choose this one and submit. So after you submit, you can view back to the candidate that you have voted. And you can log out after you log out for example if you want to log in again so the system will show you that you already voted you have voted so you can only view what you have voted so you cannot uh, reboot again let's move back to the graph in the admin pack okay so in the, the graph here will show you So now the president they already have one here and the vice president also has one here so this is how the graph work so if you add more position the position will come here for you to to preview so i think that's all for this voting system if you are interested in this voting system so you can uh, contact me i will leave my email in the description below 
Thank you so much.